All right, what's going on everyone? I'm Scribble. We're back here with another how to Minecraft uh, Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a reactor uh, It's just a basic reactor. It's going to be a 3x3 and this is what you're going to use in Tinker's Construct to or not This is what you're going to use in Infinity Evolved uh, For your basic power your basic power needs So I'm going to start off with um, this here. Actually, I need to show you how to make graphite bars. Pretty simple, actually. Grab some coal. I already have all the reactor stuff because I have a reactor already. Go over here to my furnace, and what you're going to do is you're going to put your coal inside your furnace here any furnace will do and this will make your uh, graphite bars so with that to make basic casings you're gonna need about a stack of them 64 roughly uh, you're gonna need iron graphite bars and yellow orium uh, yellow orium can be mined all this can be mined so you make your four reactor casings here. Uh, you're gonna need, let's see, we got one, two, three, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. You're gonna need at least 19 casings for a basic three by three. Uh, and then here's how you make your controller again all this stuff is set up here uh, Just so you can pause the video make your patterns This is the pattern for a controller Eulorium diamonds redstone and then the casings and Then to make the control rod which goes in the top you Need your three graphite bars redstone eulorium and then the casings you only need one of these per um, pillar, but if you're making a three by three, you only need one that goes in the middle. And then you need your power tap, which is just for the casings and then redstone. Then you need a access port, which would be a piston, a chest, and then for the blocks. Then you need uh, a fuel rod. You need to go from the bottom to the bottom of your reactor to this part here so since we're doing a 3x3 three three, you only need one uh, and then if you do a 5x5 five five, you five five, you're gonna need you'll need to go 3 high times 5 so you need 15 of these and then you'll need 5 of these all that kind of stuff uh, and then more casings and then reactor glass if you do anything bigger than a 3x3 three three, you can use reactor glass or casing it doesn't really matter uh, the reactor glass just makes it look better so that's how you make the glass two glass pieces and a reactor casing and then all right so yeah here's what we're gonna do I think I'm gonna put it put it here so you want to Yeah, I think I'm going to put it here. Uh, and I think I want it on the outside. So you're just going to do a 3x3. Three 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. One, two, three. I'm actually going to... I'll, I'll repair this wall and everything once I get done. And you're going to go up. Make it... Covered in like this, but now you have this cube. Uh, on the back side here, you can. Uh, what I do is I do two reactor ports because one's going to be an inlet, one's going to be an outlet. So here, let's. Uh, where's my rod? Did I leave it inside? 
think I did. See, do I have any in here? Tractor. Hmm. I don't know where my rod went. I guess I'll just make this one. Go into that. Is this one here? So you can, you can put this however you want. Um. As long as this goes in the middle. I like to put my port on this side. So that way I can put a chest right here and it feeds in. Then we're going to put this one here. And then we're going to go into it. Right click to go into it. And you're going to make it an outlet. Because this is going to produce a uh, crinite or something. Crinite, crinite. And um, it'll come out here. Then your eulorium will go in here to power. And then we're going to put our power here. That's our power tap. And then we're going to finish off the top here with our uh, control rod. And then once we go inside, on the front here, we will put our controller. If you did it correctly, it'll change to look like this. Now you can open it. Actually, need Delorium. Where is it at? Let's put a stack in there for now. Put this in here like that. And then you go to activate reactor. So this is our casing temperatures. How hot our casing gets. Um, don't want it to go to the max, it'll kind of level itself out. And then we're starting to gain energy here. And this is our Eulorium temperature. Uh, if you make it bigger, you'll have open slots, which I'd make a 5x5. Five five. You can put different things in there to keep it cool. Diamond blocks, um, iron blocks, uh, resident ender, and it keeps it cool at different temperatures. So now that we have this, you need conduit. So I'm going to show you guys how to make conduit here. You need this binder composite, which is gravel, or six gravel, two sand, and one clay, and it makes eight of these. What are you going to do with that? You're just going to throw that in a furnace. Let that cook. And it'll make make these conduit binders. So with this, I actually before that, I need to show you how to make a um, alloy smelter. What this here is for is a, it's going to um, it's going to make our conduit component. So if you go here to your conduit, you need to make conductive iron which is a redstone and a piece of iron. You need three of them. So I'm gonna show you how to make this alloy smelter. So first off, you need three furnaces to have here. You need a cauldron. Here's the pattern for that. Then you need a handful of these iron bars, so 16 should be enough. And then you need to make this basic capacitor which is four gold nuggets, two redstone, and a copper in this pattern. I'm actually gonna make one real quick. And then you need to make this configuration. You got the iron bars in the corner, or yeah, iron bars in the corner, iron ingots in the plus sign. You put this basic capacitor in the middle and that'll make a machine casing, chassis, whatever. And once you do that, Apparently I don't have the last one done. Hmm. So this will go in the middle here. And I'll go like that. Where's that cauldron? Oh, 
cauldron in here, and then surrounded by iron. Missing a piece. Just like that, and then you have your alloy smelter. I already have one, so I'm not going to make it. So now, now you have your alloy smelter, and then your power going. What you can do, you just come out to your backside here, where your power port is, or wherever you have your power port. And then you just put this on here like that. And then it starts to get, um, starts to get power to it. We'll put our three redstone and three iron in here. And then we'll just wait it out. Alright, and then you can actually just break this. We don't need it on there anymore. Come over here to your crafting table, and you'll do three here, three here, and these three. And that'll give you eight. So what I like to do, just to keep things neat, I put everything underneath the floor. Just makes it, keeps it looking nice. One, two, three. Put our dirt in here to cover ourselves back up. Here. So now I'm actually going to break this just so you can see. Put our alloy sensor here, it is. So put our alloy smelter here. See it auto connects to it. So now we have our power. Going inside our house. This is still going up. This is just how I do it to make it look nice. So it looks like we just have another box in the corner here. Uh, you can either do it like this or you can come out one. I think I might actually come out one. Just so I can... Make that complete the house so it looks good. Do uh, that and then that. We can do I don't have enough for it right now. We'll cover this up, and then we'll put all this back together. Just so it looks nice. There's that. And in another episode, I'll show you we can make nodes and transfer pipes. And we'll put everything in here like that. And we'll convert this over to a half slab. But it was still like we were talking about. Now this is on the inside. It looks complete. So we have everything for this. And that's how you make a uh, that's how you make a reactor. If you have any questions on how I did things, uh, make sure you leave a comment down below. Uh, I answer everything that comes in. Uh, if you have any comments or anything, leave them down below, and I will see you next time.